fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> When the western United States were first opened to settlers, gun law ruled the range. It was then that the masked rider of the plains rode in the cause of justice. No one did more to bring law and order to the frontier, and white man and Indian alike turned to him for help. His reputation for fairness was only exceeded by his reputation for courage. Now return with us to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Lane Bear's village in the hills! Tumble's waiting there! Hi, old Silver! Lame Bear and Running Cloud were the chiefs of two Indian tribes that had long been friendly. Black Fox, Running Cloud's medicine man, however, was jealous of Lame Bear's wealth and at every opportunity tried to create ill feeling. As our first act opens, night has fallen. Lame Bear's village is silent while his people sleep. But not far away, a group of men dressed to resemble Running Cloud's braves ride slowly toward the village. We hear their leader, Max Yeager, as he whispers to the man beside him. Ain't that the chief's wigwam of headlines? Yeah, that's the one. Wonder if the girl is in it. You mean the chief's daughter? Yeah, she must be. At least way Black Spock said she'd be there. We don't want nothing to go wrong. It won't. We won't give them redskins a chance to get safe. Uh huh. We gotta move fast. If any of those Indians' suspicions were whites instead of some of running cloud braves, our scheme won't work. Where's Dirk? Right beyond you. Dirk? Yeah? Come here. What do you want? We can't go much closer without their hearing us. Uh -huh. When I give a yell, you fellas make all the noise you can with your guns. We'll do that. But don't say nothing. If you do, they'll catch on that we are whites. We'll be careful. Me and Lige will grab the girl. Just the two of us? Two'll be enough. You keep watch, Dirk. When you see us ride off, the rest of you follow. Right. And remember, plenty of gunfire. We'll make them think Running Cloud's whole tribe is after them. <laughs> Got your guns ready, fellas? Yeah, yeah ready, man. Yeah. Then let's go. Get up, get up. The outlaws thundered down upon the village, their guns blazing. The Indians, confused by the sudden uproar, tumbled forth from their tents in bewildered alarm. Party local!
While Dirk and the others engaged the attention of the tribe, Matt Yeager and Lige, unnoticed in the turmoil, rode swiftly to Lame Bear's tent. There they dismounted and made their way inside with drawn guns. There she is. I got her. The buck of Gopo. Shut him out. Give me your bandana. Here. Just, just, just a second. I'll give you a hand. Wildcat, put her on your saddle. We gotta hurry. I'm hurrying all I can. Redskins will be getting organized pretty quick. Here's the horses. Help me lift her. She's a fierce one. There she is. Get on your horse. Steady there. I'll hold on to her. Come on, they've seen us. They're running this way. Come on. Get up. Running slow. Feel no pony. Relax, Hollow. Tear your pants. Chief Lame Bear, convinced that his daughter had been seized by Running Cloud's braves, called his tribe together. War drums began to beat out the threat of revenge and their primitive rhythms reached even the small camp of the Lone Ranger and his fateful Indian companion, Tonto. Tonto, mm. do you hear those drums? Oh, Tonto here. Those must be war drums. Oh, that means plenty big trouble. What Indians are in this country, Himasabi? Lame bear tribe here. But him tribe not big. I've heard of him. Running cloud tribe here. Him got big tribe. Do you think war has broken out between the two tribes? Lame bear, run cloud, heap good friends. With their friends, I can't understand those war drums. No whites live in this country. Not right. There comes a rider. Him Indian. Perhaps he saw our camp. That Swift Eagle. Him friend Tonto. How oh, Swift Eagle. How oh, Tonto. <laughs> Tonto, plenty glad to see you. Swift Eagle here. Good friend Tonto, come this way. Uh, Swift Eagle, what do those war drums mean? They're plenty trouble. Yes? Men come. Men take no comish. Oh, her daughter, Chief Lame Bear. Uh, Lame Bear's daughter was captured? Uh, bad men come at night. Lame Bear think running cloud braves do. Swift Eagle think bad pale face do. White men? They'll not ride like Indian. Me think pale face paint like Indian. Fool him, lame bear. White men painted like Indians. Ah, Max Yeager and his gang are supposed to be hiding somewhere in this territory. I wonder... What do you think? Perhaps they captured Nokomis. But why? Maybe Black Fox pay him wampum. Black Fox. Him medicine man in running cloud tribe. Ah. But why would Black Fox hire Max Yeager? Long time now. Him try make trouble. Lame bear own many horse. Much wampum. Black Fox won't. And you think that perhaps Black Fox hired Max and his gang to seize Nokomis and make Lame Bear believe that Running Cloud is to blame? Ah, uh, that right. Did you tell Lame Bear you suspected his daughter was taken by white men? Swift Eagle tell him, him not believe. I see. Me hear Tonto nearby. Think maybe Tonto help Swift Eagle. Mm, Tonto glad do that. Of course we'll help you. Lame Bear make war on Running Cloud. Running Cloud maybe kill Lame Bear. Tonto told me that Running Cloud's tribe was larger than your tribe. Black Fox is probably counting on that. If he could bring about war between the two tribes, Lame Bear would be defeated. And as medicine man, he'd get most of the loot. Uh, here, Selma. What you do? Tonto, we'll have to find out whether or not Swift Eagle's suspicions are right. Uh -huh. We must prevent a war between the two tribes if possible. Here, paint horse. Yep. But to do that, we must move fast. Yes. War drum call brave together. And when they gather, Lame Bear will attack. Come on, get him Silver. up, paint horse. In the meantime, Max Yeager and his gang, with their captive, the Indian maiden, Nokomis, raced toward Running Cloud Village. When they approached their destination, they circled the village and reined in their horses before the teepee of Black Fox, which stood some distance away. Black Fox, where are you? Here he comes. You do what Black Fox tell you? He sure did. There's the girl where he aimed to put her. You put in teepee. Ain't that kind of risky? You don't want nobody to find her. Indian freight medicine man. Them not go in teepee. I reckon he's right, Max. I never seen the Indian yet that wasn't scared to death to go into a medicine man's tent. Uh-huh. You do. Help the girl off the horse line. Yeah, but I ain't taking that gag off. 
She'd start yelling and running. Cloud would get wise right off. Leave the gag on and tie her up when you take her inside. Right. All right, there. Here you come. Uh, hurry. Uh, hurry. Get her out of sight. Yeah. Come along now and don't try to make no trouble. Well, we done our share, Black Fox. Ah, good. When do you figure on paying us off? Me pay by and by. But we're not going to Lame wait. Bear come, make big fight. Running Cloud, beat Lame Bear. Then Black Fox pay you wampum. What we want is gold. You get plenty gold. Thanks. You better be getting this fame stuff off us. If any of the Redskins sees us this way, they're sure to suspicion something. Yeah. If Running Cloud ask you a question, you not savvy. You can depend on us. We won't do no talking. Yeah. We'll pretend like we was never anywhere near Lane Bear's village. There's one thing, Black Fox. What that? Running Cloud don't like us any too much. You gotta see that he lets us alone. Him not hurt friend medicine man. Well, see that he don't. Come on, fellas. Get cleaned up and see what happens next. <laughs> In Lame Bear's village, the Braves gathered for revenge. The drums beat a savage accompaniment to the war chant that whipped the men's courage into a murderous fury. Then, at a shout from Lame Bear, their chief, the painted Braves leaped to the backs of their wiry little mouths. <laughs> What did Swift Eagle say, Tonto? Him, him say him bring friend. Find out if Chief Lame Bear can speak English. Gamo, Taha, Koli Peduka. Lame Bear talk white man talk. What man with mask won't say? Chief, Thrift Eagle has told us that he believes white outlaws, not running clouds, braves, captured your daughter. That not true. Them not have white skin. Them dark like Indian. But they might have painted their skins. Me see running cloud brave. It was dark when it happened, Lame Bear. You could easily have been mistaken. Swift Eagle tell you that. Him make mistake, not Lame Bear. Pale face take no comments. Me no. Wait. You were getting ready to ride against Running Cloud's village, weren't you? Uh, I've been told that until now there have been many years of friendship between your tribe and his. Many, many moons pass. We smoke pipe of peace. But if you make war now, death will come to your people and his. That not matter. Did you know there are white outlaws in this country? White men in Running Cloud village. Me hear that. Perhaps Black Fox hired them to pretend to be Indians. Why him do that? Swift Eagle tells me Black Fox has tried for a long time to start trouble between the two tribes. Ah. Will you give me a chance to prove that Black Fox and White Outlaw stole your daughter? Black Fox make plenty big medicine. You not fool Black Fox. Perhaps my medicine is more powerful than his. Lame Bear, you do what man with mask say. I have a plan, Lame Bear. What that? If you wish, we'll go to Running Cloud's village first. And see what he has to say about this. Mm. You wouldn't wish to go on the war path against a man who had not harmed you, would you? Me never turn against friend. Good. Then if Running Cloud denies taking Nokomis, I'll make magic stronger than that of Black Fox. Do you agree? You talk with straight tongue. Me do. And tell your braves to put down their arms until we come back, Lame Bear. Ah. Me pay so. Corona Palu! The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank you.
Now to continue our story. After the Lone Ranger had persuaded Lame Bear that Running Cloud might not have been responsible for his daughter's disappearance, the old chief rode with the masked man and Tonto to Running Cloud's village. Is that Running Cloud standing over there? That him. He's seen us. Now remember, let me handle this. You promised me you wouldn't start trouble unless he gave you cause. Lame Bear never break word. Here he is. Oh, oh, so. oh, okay, oh. oh, Lame Bear. How? Oh. Lame Bear, tell him we're friends who wish to speak to him. Ah. Seta ko, mi cha, mi lega, tempe yo mate. Oh, mate. Man with mask, Lame Bear say you him friend. That's so, Running Cloud. What you want? Running Cloud, men with evil hearts have stolen Lame Bear's daughter. What that? She was taken last night. Me plenty sad hear him that. You send them brave. Wait, Lame Bear. Running Cloud, the men who did this thing appeared to be Indians. But who do that? Lame Bear have no enemy. Lame Bear thought some of your braves did it. That not true. But Swift Eagle suspected that it might be the work of white men. He claimed they were painted to resemble Indians. Me not know. You have white men in your village. Them friend, Black Fox. Him great medicine man. And you haven't seen Nokomis? Running cloud not see. Is Black Fox here? Me call Black Fox. Volta! Red Fox key! There, Black Fox. Sola pe! Kimo! Take gemo! Him bring white man. Looks like Max Yeager. The law's been hunting for him for a long time. Mm, him plenty bad feller. Sito, no Dali. Man with mask, say white men take Nokomis. Man with mask, lie. What's a masked fella trying to do, Black Fox? Make trouble first? Him tell a lie. Black Fox, you know nothing about the disappearance of Lame Bear's daughter? What you mean? I mean exactly this. I think your outlaw friends and you are responsible for the raid on Lame Bear's camp. Why, you, you plenty fool. You say anything more like that? Careful, Max. I'll... Him got gun. How'd you know my name? I know plenty about you and your men, Max. Oh, Listen I... to me. Black Fox, you're a medicine man. Me make plenty big medicine. And so do I. We're going to find out which one of us has the most power. What that for? Black Fox has caused the trouble between you and Lame Bear, Running Cloud. If my magic is stronger than his, it'll prove the truth of what I say. If it isn't, then Black Fox is telling the truth. Black Fox not afraid. You accept my challenge? It's up to some trick, Black Fox. White man's medicine not strong like Black Fox. We'll see about that. What you do? I'll give Black Fox the advantage. We'll use his rifle. I'll stand while he shoots at me. If my medicine turns his bullets, then I'll shoot. And we'll see if Black Fox's medicine can protect him. You plenty brave man. Don't do it, Black Fox. Man with mask, speak fair. Black Fox do, or Black Fox coward. Me do. Good. One day from now. Why not now? Me speak with great spirit. Me make big medicine. Then Black Fox kill man with mask. I'll wait. But tomorrow at this time, we meet. Lame Bear and the Masked Man returned to their camp while the Lone Ranger explained his plan to Tonto and the Indian chief. The remainder of the day passed without a move from either party. But that evening, Max Yeager and his men gathered in Black Fox's teepee. Well, Black Fox, what's on your mind? You kill man with mask. Huh? Thought you said you was doing that tomorrow. Me not fool. So you did figure the masked hombre was up to some trick after all. Uh. <laughs> I get it. You agreed to that proposition of his because you had to. But you ain't taking no chances on it going through. That's right. What's your scheme? Man with mask make camp with lame bear. Sure, they're down the valley away. Me look. Him not sleep near other. That's right, Max. I was watching from the top of the hill, and I seen the masked fella spread his blankets away from the rest of the camp. Yeah? You take men, you go there. You mean we had to sneak up on him tonight and put him out of the way? Ah. If Lame Bear's brave was to hear a gun, they'd have our scalps. You not use gun. Huh? Here, knife. A quiet, like wolf. Take knife. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that ain't a bad idea. Them sleep. You go now. This is as good a time as any, I reckon. Yeah. How's the girl holding up, Black Fox? No, Comus. Well. You ought to get rid of her. You can't ever let her go or she'll do too much talking. Me not kill her. He sell for slave. You sure don't miss no tricks. Well, 
Come on, fellas. It's plenty dark. You shouldn't run much chance of being seen. Get him on it. Steady there. Steady. You kill man with mask. Me pay more gold. You just leave that to us. <laughs> ready, fellas? Yeah, ready, man. Well, then come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. Max led his men down the valley toward Lame Bear's camp. They rode as far as possible on horseback, then, at a signal from their leader, reined in their horses. Uh, from here on, we can't make no noise. We'll be careful. The masked man's over this way somewhere. Yeah. Dick, you and the rest of the fellows can keep watch while me and Lige sneaks up on him. Won't you need our help? Not less than something goes wrong. If we're discovered, you keep the engines off on us. We'll do that. We must be getting close. Yeah. This is fair enough for you fellas, Dirk. Then we'll wait right here. Come on, Lige. Be mighty careful. Max, what's that up ahead? Quiet. Looks like somebody rolled up in his blankets. It's the masked man. He's sure sleeping sound. Hates stirring they tall. You got the knife? Right here. You let me handle this. Sure. Careful. He ain't hurt us. One blow ought to do the trick. Yeah. And I'll turn that trick right now. <laughs> Morning came at last, and preparations were made in Running Cloud's village for the coming contest between the medicine man, Black Fox, and the Lone Ranger. The great plain outside the village was chosen for the site. There, as the time approached, the Indians gathered and raised their voices in a weird ceremonial chant. Soon, Chief Running Cloud and Black Fox pushed their way through the crowd and stepped into a space that had been kept clear for them. Black Fox... Where man with man? <laughs> Maybe him afraid. Mm. Him not come soon, him coward. Me not think that. What that? There come the good friend, Lame Bear. Me Pelo, don't take thee. Wait him, Pelo, ka. Great chief, Lame Bear. Where man with mask? Him come. Oh, come oh, on, oh, hey, You, you come. You didn't expect me, did you, Black Fox? Uh. I proved last night that my medicine is stronger than yours, or I wouldn't be alive today. You talk like fox. I believe you understand me. You ready now, man with mask? I am. You ready, black fox? Yeah. You have your rifle with you, black fox? Here, rifle. As we're using your gun, I think I should be allowed to fire one practice shot. Uh, that's not right. What matter, black fox? You afraid? Me not afraid. Then do what man with mask say. I want to fire one shot only to see how the gun aims. You take. Thanks. I'll aim at that tree over there. There. Now I'll load it again for you. See, there's no trick. I'm dropping the bullet down the barrel. There you are. You better take this ramrod and see that the bullet's in place. Uh, me do. Man with mask, stand there. Black fox, fire first. We agreed to that. You ready? I'll take my position. My magic keeps the bullet from hurting me. Then black fox must stand while I fire. Me make big medicine. Ah ha! Hey, face medicine, not strong like mine. Black fox, the white man's magic is stronger than yours. Uh, Black fox, take aim. Uh, me aim. Me raise hand. When hand drop, black fox fire. That's good. You ready? Me ready. Watch hand. Meko! Man with mask make great medicine. Him not hurt. Thunder spirit, fair black fox. Black fox, you ain't right for me. My power carries no bullets. Now I'll shoot. Then I want to kill. That was our bargain. No. Black fox, you know, big power. Wait. Black fox, I have the right to shoot you. That was our agreement. But I'll give you your life on one condition. What that? Tell us when Okomus is hidden. Me not Would not. you rather die? 
Black Fox not know. Black Fox... Very well. Take your position where I stood. We'll see if your own medicine can protect you. Wait! May tell? Yes? No commas. In Black Fox teepee. Her not hurt. If she is, you'll die anyhow. May take good care. No commas. We get her. Wait, Lame Bear. I think Tonto's gone for her. He'll bring your daughter here safely. Ah, uh, that good. Running Cloud not know Black Fox do this thing. I know you didn't, Running Cloud. Black Fox attempted to start a war between you and Lame Bear. <sighs> he hired Max Jig and his men to paint themselves like Indians so that Lame Bear would blame you for the crime. There were war. You were the strongest tribe. Then, being the medicine man, Black Fox would have taken the biggest share of the spoils. Black Fox pay for this. Yes, Running Cloud. But I have one thing to ask. You ask. Me plenty glad do. Last night, Max and his outlaws tried to murder me. But Tonto and I expected them. We made them prisoners. Mm, that good. They should be tried by the white man's justice. I want you to promise to take them and Black Fox to town. Running cloud do what man with mask say. Good. No, call me. You come, my daughter. Young Tonto. Uh, lame Bear, take I'm glad you we home. saved the friendship between Lame Bear and Running Cloud, Kimosabe. Uh, that good thing. Steady, old fellow. Huh? We did oh, no. I wonder if Black Fox knew that the bullet I put in his rifle was made only of mud. <laughs> me not know. It's an old <laughs> trick of the Indian medicine men. If he realized what I had done, he wouldn't dare say anything. <laughs> Why that? Uh? Because if he did, it would expose a trick he himself has used. <laughs> that plenty good. I you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.